Hi guys, Colleen here with a junk journal process vid. So we're nearly out of natural light and I don't want to put the light on because then we're going to get lots of shadows. Um, so I'm going to do this hopefully nice and quickly. We're on to day 23, so I'm only nearly a week behind now, um, which is autumn. And this is for junk journal September. So I've grabbed anything and everything, well not everything, just bits and pieces um, from my stash. Anything that sort of reminded me of autumn. So I've got lots of little die cuts some wee cards, journaling cards, um, little tags, and some stickers. So I'm going to make something out of this. And I was, so we've got this page here, which is just the back of a dictionary. We've got a wee bag in the middle, and then this um, page here. So I think the first thing I want to do is I want to have something that we can write autumn on um, for our title. So I think that might go good there. Um, so where is I'm just going to double, use double sided tape and pop that on there. And I really like this little guy here. Um, and on the back it just says give thanks to a grateful heart. So I'm not sure if I want to pop him in there. Or one of the bigger journaling cards where I could actually do some journaling on the back. It just about fits in but would need trimmed slightly each side. Um I would like to do a wee bit of journaling. Autumn is my favourite season. Spring is a close second, but Definitely uh, autumn is my favourite season. It's not too bad now. Um, so what I might do is keep that wee one there. And then I'll do my journaling later on the back. always makes me think of having to wear coats and being able to wear boots. I need to cover this up with something. And there's this card I want to use but I think I'm going to use it on the other side of the page so I'll leave it there. Just wondering if I could pop those there or I could have a little bit of this paper which is very autumnal. short. I don't have much of my double sided tape left so I'm just going to use a glue stick for this wee bit of paper. I'm 
And then I'm going to pop these two down. I think actually need a little bit of double sided tape. This is a bit like plastic, more than it is paper. I do like that coat there. And then we've got our little boots and a little bag to go with it. Or we could save those. Also have some pictures. Not pictures, some <laughs> stickers. Um definitely need something else here, I'm just not sure what. This wee candle die cut. Well, I'm always um, get the cinnamon wax melts out. Get those on. It's got my favourite washi. Might be nice just to go in there. And then we've got that, and then over here, I'm going to pop this wee tag on, I think. I definitely want to use this wee journaling card, because it's really cute. And then I'm going to use one of these just to tie it in with the other side of the page. Definitely want to use some of these stickers too. So, we'll pop in our little tag for fall. And we'll use one of these little stickers. Just either side. Alright, no, he's too big. I don't think I'm going to get anything in that side. The uh, crease is just there where it folds. So, we could get that little tiny leaf in though. It will fit over there. Tuesday, or is it Monday? Monday finishes this challenge, so I'm hoping to um, get caught up. If not, I'll just post the bits and pieces slightly after. Um, and I'm hoping to do an October one as well sort of an October daily with a prompt. So where did my wee bit go? These wee die cuts here are from the Planner Society. No idea where that little bit went to. Obviously, set it somewhere. I cannot see it now. I can leave a little space for it, but if I can find it, then I could pop it in. Okay. No idea. Anyway. We'll pop in our little fall bag and then I'll leave a little space for the bit when I find it. A 
uh-oh. Acorn. Which I thought was pretty cute. I know what we are actually missing. A little hedgehog. Now, I don't actually think I found one when I was looking through. I got some pieces. And then we'll have another little bit of washi just to tie in the other side. And then I'm just wondering, I've got my seasonal book here from the Happy Planner. I'm just wondering what they have for autumn. Do they have little leaves or anything? Easter. Pumpkins. Happy Halloween. Bats. Oh, there we go. We have little leaves. Which are really cute. Love the colours that the leaves go in the autumn. They're just so pretty. And one more colour. Okay. A little cup of hot chocolate. So, other than the little bit which I've set somewhere and I can't find it now, it's probably dropped on the floor or something. Oh, here we go, find it, it's underneath. Let's pop that in quickly. Right here. There we go. And then the only other thing I need to do is find my Tombow pen. Wasn't sure whether I was going to do capitals there or not. Like that. So that is my spread for autumn, day 23 of the challenge. I might pop something in there so you can see it through and you won't have to just see my writing when I do my little bit of journaling. Um, but that is it. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you consider subscribing that would be even better and I'll see you next time. Bye!